Welcome again for, uh, to the Power Pages Quick Tip series. Um, I'm Bay Singh, and in episode two, I'm going to talk with you about how to handle or how to enable the bootstrap version 5 in your environment, um, along with Marius, who is joining me from Vienna. So let's dive in. So basically, the bootstrap is a popular CSS um, framework for developing responsive and mobile first website. It also provides a set of the style sheets that help uh, you know, creating the modern, attractive web pages that can be adopted to different size, um, you know, different screen size basically, which is a key aspect of the response, uh, responsive web design. Bootstrap basically include the variety of the features. So an example, the containers. So there are there are the most basic layout elements in the boat strip, and these are required when using the default grid system. The second, because I use the grid system, so what is the grid system here? Boat strip includes a responsive mobile mobile first fluid grid system that appropriately scale up up to twelve columns as the device or the viewport size increase or decrease. And then we have a predefined classes. So boat strip also come with the uh, with the classes for uh, basically typographies, um, typographies, forms, buttons, tables, um, navigations, models, images, crawls, image crawls, and many other design elements, you know. Then we have a JavaScript plugins available here. So Bootstrap, um, you know, it comes with several custom jQuery plugins, and you can easily include them all or one by one. The latest version, um, as of my knowledge, I think cutoff is 2021, and the version is about step five. And currently, it is um, into the sub version of 5.5.3 uh, or something. So, yeah, it, it will be keep updating day by day. Now, let's talk a bit about the Botus Step 5. So, Botus Step 5 is the newest version of the Botus Step, which is the most popular HTML, CSS, JavaScript framework for creating responsive mobile first website. Botus Step 5 is completely free to download and use it. You don't have to buy any separate licenses for that one. Also, Botus Step 5 allows us to improve the website designs and provide a good user interface. If you are using the Botus Step 4 and you are thinking of to you know migrate to the Botus Step 5, the migration is easy and you probably won't need to make a lot of changes, but please always come up with the migration plans. Although I will um, I will highlight a few of the points here as well, uh, which you need to consider. So, but before that, some of the key features and the changes in the Botus Step 5s are the first and the foremost is no, ch no jQuery. So Botus Step 5 have, has switched to the JavaScript back instead of the jQuery. This makes the package lighter and it also helped to improve the performance like the page load and other things. It improved the grid system as well. So the grid system, which is scale up up to 12 columns as a device or the viewport size increased and has been improved as well. Updated forms. So the forms um, have been redesigned and improved. And when we talk about the customizable icons, um, so Bootstrap 5 introduced a new set of the SVG uh, standard ve um, vector graphics icon library, and it also improved the modularity. So Bootstrap 5's modularity has been improved, which means you can use what you want and when you want. It also improved the documentation part. So the documentation is always, um, uh, you know, highlight this point if there is a better documentation it's easy for makers to to build anything on the top of that and Buddhist step 5 done a fantastic job there so documentation has been improved making it easier for the developers to find what they needed there the major things in my opinion um which i would like to highlight is that Buddhist step 5 it also support the rtl market so right to left layouts and i'm assuming sooner microsoft will come up with the RTL languages support for the Power Pages as well. Now let's talk a bit about into the Power Platform ecosystem. So Power Platform environments and Power Pages sites use the Bootstrap three, version three by default till now. Migration a project from the Bootstrap three to the Bootstrap five is a significant task due to due to the many of the changes and additionally uh, in the newer version. So 
I would say here are some of the, you know, key points to consider. And I will come up with separate videos also on this one that how to make it. So the first thing is no jQuery. Uh, we know so bootstrap 5 has switched to the javascript instead of jquery this means you will need to update any jquery dependent code into your power pages or the website which you have already written updated class are there so many classes have been changed between the version for example you know pull left change to the float start pull right change to the float end and text right change to the text end something like that so you have to make these changes in your code as well before um, or during the migration plans also a migration guide so it is recommended to go through the official migration guide from the bootstrap for each version you know transition so example you instead of jumping directly from v3 to v5 the developer should plan to move from the v3 to the v4 version 4 and then v4 to the v5 that probably would be more easier way the same way we do the um, you know um, migration projects for the dynamic crms also testings um, thoroughly we have to do the testings there is no question on that one, no doubt on that. And all of the existing application, uh, we have to we have to um, test very thoroughly before starting the conversions. Consider that uh, using the clone site for testing, so you can revert it without any impacting on your production site. And if something goes wrong in 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 particular case, page by page migration. Um, you can't use Bootstrap three and Bootstrap five you know, simultaneously on one page. So therefore, each page of your site must be configured to use either Bootstrap 3 or Bootstrap 5. The next one is the configuration changes. So, you know, each tool on your site has its own set of, or own unique set of the configuration changes that you need to make during the migration process. This can include changes in your form template, your theme settings, your views in your listing, and entity configuration. Also, you have to remember that migration from the boat step three to the boat step five is a big step and should be done very carefully to ensure the smooth transition of your project. Now, how to enable the boat step five? It's just very simple steps. So you have to sign into the Power Platform Admin Center. In the left navigation or the left side panel, you have to select the respective environment. Uh, you have to select the environment menu and then select the appropriate environment uh, from, from the canvas area or the list. Then you have to go to the resources style, select the Power Pages sites, turn on you know, um, enhanced data models and enable Bootstrap version 5 for the new, uh, new sites. This is in the preview uh, stage, but um, considering that uh, if you're not right now planning to push it to the production but in future then it's a uh, worth to to start your migration journey around Buddhist step three to Buddhist step five also you know confirm when you are prompt to enable Buddhist step version five for all new sites and these steps should help users to enable Buddhist step five for their new sites if there is anything else you would like to know or to discuss feel free to ask in the comment section or connect me over my social platform now, uh, you know, you can create your sites with these Power Pages template, uh, which is available on the screen that is supported by default with the Bootstrap version 5. So you can go with the blank page template, starter layouts, even one, two, three, um, like all of all of those starter layouts, application processing um, template, then you have a program registration template, scheduled and managed meeting template. So these templates are already supported by the Bootstrap 5. I would like to show that how to enable Bootstrap 5 for your Power Pages and check which versions are using, um, you know, in your websites. If you can't wait anymore, let's dive in, dive into the real action now. So basically, I have, uh, you know, the admin center open. So if you are in the admin center, you have to go to the environment. In the environment, you have to select the appropriate environment, then go to the resources, go to the Power Pages sites. And if you're already into the Power Pages sites, you will see uh, there's an option to enable the Bootstrap 5 version 5 for the new site. It is in the preview, as I mentioned, but uh, then you can easily enable this. So you just need to enable this. There will be a pop up. Yes, you've read it. You can look for the documentation before uh, enabling it, but just click on the enable. It takes a couple of seconds to a minute to, to uh, process this, but then you are done. 
So this is a step you have to do if you want to move all of your future sites need to be created to the, you know, to the Buddhist and they should use the Buddhist step five. So this is how you would like to go. And uh, then quickly back again to the slide then. Um, yeah, uh, basically I would like to show that how to enable the Buddhist step five for your power pages. And um, the important thing here, like there is a complete migration journey from the three to five. So maybe in our subsequent subsequent video series, um, we will come up with this um, this practical demo that uh, or the action in the life that how you are migrating from the Buddhist strip three to the Buddhist strip five your websites. So yeah, please um, stay tuned. Um, you know, uh, stay tuned to this channel by subscribing and pressing the bell icon. Share the videos with your friends and colleagues who are having um, the same skill sets like you or you or basically they want to deep dive in the power pages. We will be coming up with the more interesting tips, knowledge sharings and the lesson learnings around the power pages. Also, please always keep in keep your eyes into the description of the video. So you're always up to date with the latest information. Till that, have a nice time. Happy learning. Have a great day. And nice. best, don't be yeah. too quick. I have okay. questions. <laughs> That's good. Um, uh, basically, regarding my old power pages, so the mm -hmm. ones that I already have. Uh, mm -hmm. First question you talked about, um, so uh, JavaScript and, and jQuery. Um, if my existing pages are using jQuery and I migrate, uh, will they still work? Is jQuery still available? If you are using the Bootstrap Step 5, then no, because okay. Bootstrap Step 5 doesn't support the inbuilt jQuery inside. So okay. we have to customize it. We have to wrap it around the jQuery object, and then we can reference anywhere into the into the script sections. So yeah, uh, as I mentioned, there is no jQuery now. So it's okay, back to so the vanilla JavaScript, and we have developers have to do some additional effort if we still need to use jQuery into the page, into the you know into our projects. Okay. Yeah. Um, and then the second one also with my older power pages, I mm -hmm. still have power pages on the standard data model. Is okay. the migration supported here as well? No, right now, uh, you know, you have a standard data model, like whatever the standard data model is there, the migration doesn't support uh, those standard data models stuff. It only support the enhanced data model, like you can build uh, using the enhanced data model, but mm -hmm. it won't work with the standard one. So for the standard one, there's a complete migration plan. And then uh, you have to basically move it to the enhanced data model first. And I know Microsoft is working hard to provide us the this utility to migrate from the standard to the um, um yeah, to the enhanced data model. I heard in some of our internal calls that uh, Microsoft Teams is really working hard. And very soon, I think um, I saw some note from one of um, the, the program manager from uh, Power Pages, I think Dilip mentioned somewhere that uh, they will be coming up with this utility very soon. So I have to make a finger cross and wait for that one. So the migration, I don't have to take the pain from, you know, the standard to enhanced data model, the stuff, but Yes, if you have to use the Bootstrap 5, it will only and only work with the enhanced data model. It won't work with the standard one. Okay. So Perfect. I hope I hope you don't have any other question. Right? No, no. <laughs> I'm ah, fine now. Thanks. That's good. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for joining and stay tuned with us. And as I mentioned, like like the videos, um, share it with your colleagues. Till that, stay happy, stay healthy. Have a great time. Bye. Bye.